Okay, now we continue with the kickboard. So in the in the, what we showed before, we actually put the plywood here to replace the old kickboard. Now I'm going to put an Audi Baker board on the three quarter of an inch plywood. And my intention is to put tile on the Audi Baker board. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take, I'm going to measure the measurement from here to here, which is four and a half inch. And from here to here is four and a half inch, the same thing. And from here to here, if you look at that, it's actually 14 and three quarter. So I'm going to cut um, an Audi Baker board in this kind of, um, in this size now. So here, before I'm going to cut this uh, piece of uh, Audi Baker board, to put on the kickboard, I have to put this kind of mask because if you're not going to put it, you're going to have a risk of cancer. After I cut the Audi Baker, which is a half an inch Audi Baker, you can see here, i putting it here, okay, and in order to put it more inside, I need to mark here and mark here to make kind of a natural, and that I'm going to cut now, I put it inside, you can see that the end result. That's the Audi Baker board going to be attached to the plywood and it's going to be used as a kickboard. On top of it, we're going to install tile. You see it. Okay. So now before I'm going to attach it to the three quarter of an inch plywood, I'm going to make sure that the thing is level. Just give it a Just make sure it's level. I'm going to clean it. Even if vacuum it. And I'm going to attach it to here. And I'm going to put a little bit of space here. You can see the space here. This space, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a tile in it. The space that's going to be here, I will seal it with a sealant that I can paint and match it to this, to the color of the cabinet. So I'm going to attach the Audi Baker board to the kickboard, three quarter of an inch plywood, with one and a quarter Baker board. You can see these green screws. So I'm going to attach it. The first thing I want to verify is that it's not going to be until the end. Which means I need to I need to leave a space of a one eighth between the baker board and the floor. Because so now what I'm going to do I'm going to start um, I verify it and I'm going to start from the center the first screw I'm going to put in the center. So I'm start reading this. Make sure it's there. Sometimes you have to take it out and put it back again. It just makes it better. Now that's okay. So you can see it's perfect now. I'm going to put at least three, three, three screws here. You must make sure that the Audi Baker screw I'll flash with the Audi Baker board. And the last one is here.
Here I don't need to here I don't need to put underlime and cement between the Hardy Baker and the plywood because it's a kickboard and it's like to put Hardy Baker on the wall. Nobody really going to walk on it, so there's no problem of voided spaces between the Hardy Baker board and the plywood. So we already finished to attach the Hardy Baker board to the plywood. So here is the tile that I already cut and I, I match this tile to the cabinet and to the floor, you can see it. And I'm going to attach it to the Audi Baker board with tin set. So that's the way it's going to look like. And what's going to, what's nice in that first durability, you don't really need to, it's not it's very easy to clean it. It's not going to be rotted, rotted by, rotten by uh, molded mildew and it will be even nicer than to put here a board, wood board, so that's the end result.